Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdale here. In this presentation I'm going to give a derivation of the transport equation. And the transport equation is just the following. Okay, here C is a constant and the uh, subscripts denote partial differentiation. So U sub T means DU DT. Now I'm going to do it using um, cars moving along uh, an infinitely long highway in one direction. Okay, so suppose we have a, a one-dimensional road or highway with cars moving along in one direction only. Let rho be a function of position x and time t, denote the concentration or density of cars at position x and time t. Now the total mass of cars in at, at time at some uh, point in time t within an arbitrary segment of the road just a, an interval say a comma b is the following okay and you can set this up um, using just slice and sum techniques where you know you you slice up the interval you um, uh, approximate the uh, total mass within a small little subintervals, and then you sum everything up and in the limit you, you get to an integral. Now at, t at the time t the flux or the flow rate of uh, Q of cars into this interval can be written in the following difference. A big Q is just the rate of cars entering the region at x equals a minus the rate of cars leaving the region at x equals a. Okay. Now we do make an assumption based on the conservation uh, law in the sense that no cars are created or destroyed on the road. So no, none leave the road and none join the road. Okay, so what this means is that the rate of change of mass in the interval AB is equal to the flux into the region. Okay, so what that, what that is, is if M is the mass, then dm dt is just the following difference where this little q is this term, this is q of a, a comma t, this is q of b comma t. Okay? Okay, so how do we come up with this differential equation from this? Well, we can use the fundamental theorem of calculus and just work on this difference here. Okay. This difference can be written as the integral of a partial derivative. Okay, if you sort of run it backwards, you'll, you'll get to here. Okay, and now I have this from the previous slide. This is a representation for m. So if I differentiate both of these, uh, both sides with respect to t, I'll get the following. Okay, so that's that's from there and then if I differentiate this expression with respect to t I get this and then if I differentiate uh, push the derivative inside the integral by applying Leibniz rule for differenti differentiating under the integral sign I get a partial in there just write that as rho sub t okay so I have an expression here for dm dt I have an expression here for dm dt and what I can do now is just set them to be equal. Okay, so if I equate them, I get the following. And then if I just rearrange and put them all under one integral sign, I get this. Now, this is true for all intervals A to B. Okay, so this integral is equal for all intervals A to B. Now, the only way that can happen is if the integrand is zero. So I can move from here to here and just say, okay, well, the integral 
the integrand is zero. Okay, so this is the general form of the uh, transport equation, and in particular, if q is a constant times rho, then we get the transport equation, okay? So I think I wrote it in terms of u at the start. Well, here I've got it in terms of rho, so it's, a, it's the same equation. Okay? It's the same equation. So there it is. There's a derivation of the transport equation. And the nice thing about the way that I've derived it here is that it's scalable to higher dimensions and works for a lot of other models. So, and, and this, this is a very common theme here. And also applying the conservation law. This is very um, uh, transferable and scalable as well. So that's um, the end of my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please join me for more presentations where I discuss more partial differential equations, their application, and their theory.